Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. The reason why we suffer is sins as a people, because of our sins. The church told us we ain't got to keep God's laws no more. But when you read the Bible, sin is breaking God's laws. And the Bible just said the reason why we're suffering is because we're sinning against God. Sin is a crime against God. Bring it out. It's a crime. So guess what happened when you break the laws of the land? They put you well in jail. And if you do something too bad, they might kill you. They might put you on death row. So if that happened to us in this land and they would put you in jail for breaking the laws, what you think God gonna do? What do we got to do as a people? We got to come back to this Bible. I want to show you something before you go, sis, because you believe in the Bible, right? I'm going to read two more scriptures and I'm going to let you leave. Remember. Yeah. Watch this. Second Maccabees chapter 7. Read verse 32 again. Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. This is the book of Second Maccabees chapter 7, verse 32. For we suffer. For we what? For we suffer. For we what? Suffer because of our sin. You heard what God said? The reason why we suffer is sins as a people because of our sins. The church told us we ain't got to keep God's laws no more. But when you read the Bible, sin is breaking God's laws. And the Bible just said the reason why we're suffering is because we're sinning against God. Sin is a crime against God. Bring it out. It's a crime. So guess what happened when you break the laws of the land? They put you well in jail and if you do something too bad they might kill you they might put you on death row so if that happened to us in this land and they would put you in jail for breaking the laws what you think god gonna do god is punishing us because we are breaking the laws of god let's see some of the laws that we breaking let's read that this is the book of deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5. now this is an easy commandment for y'all to keep for us to keep as a people. When we heard the Bible, when I heard this, I changed my life. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. I'm going to mention this real quick. Because our people, we love to hear that we're the greatest people on the earth according to, to the Bible. God labeled us the greatest people. But the only reason we're in the conditions that we're in because we're breaking the laws. Now our people will stand around when we out teaching. And they love to hear we're going to rule the earth, but we got to come back to the Bible. Oh, God going to give us this. God going to do that. Until you say, this is what you got to do in order to receive the promises God going to give you. And our people say, I ain't doing that. Oh, I got to change my life? You mean I got to do a whole 360? Oh, no, I ain't doing that, brother. You know, I'm going to go back to the Christian church. Because in the Christian church, I can do whatever I want to do. I can smoke weed. Even the pastor's telling you that they finna make a, a place where they able to grow marijuana and sell it to the church. This got to be foolishness. Those are the false prophets that Christ spoke about in the book of Matthew. They're not teaching the truth. Watch this, read. Neither shall a man. Don't read it again. The woman. So we're talking about the woman. This is a commandment for the woman and the man. Watch this, read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. We're going to get straight to the point. The things that pertain to men or clothing that belong to men is what, sis? That women should not wear. That men wear. What? What? some of the clothing that a man wear that a woman should not wear? Matter of fact, I got you. Let's read the next part. Hey, do you know, sis? Do you know what it's talking about? What it's talking about? Oh, sister hit it on the head. It's, it's, it's easy mathematics. I know y'all grew up in America, and America say you can wear pants. America say you can do whatever you want to do. But God says that a woman should not wear pants. Sister, according to the Bible, you got to change. See, our people love the Bible until it's time to change. Let's read it again. 
the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Excuse me, sir. He has some solutions he would like to share with us to help stop. Cool, I got you. Let me read this other scripture real quick. Give me Romans 6, 23, sis. So, remember, the wages of sin is death, right? Let's see what sin is, and then I'm going to get this brother solutions that he got. Because you got solutions on how we should fix our community, right? I got you. Give me uh, sin first. We go, I'm going to read a couple scriptures to you, sis. So the Bible says that a woman should not wear pants. It's up to you to take that and say, you know what? God, these brothers just showed me that we went into slavery and that we're suffering because we're breaking the commandments of God. If we breaking the commandments of God and he's punishing us for it, the same way you treat your son or your daughter, you're punishing them because you breaking, they're breaking your rules. It's not that God hate us, but God is trying to get us to get our minds right. Just like I punish my son, I punish my daughter for the wrong that they doing against whatever rules I set up. It's not that I hate them that I'm punishing them, but I'm punishing them because they're not doing according to what I'm telling them to do. That's the same way God rose. He's our heavenly father. Read that. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committed sin. So John came and says, whosoever committed sin or whosoever do sin. You hear what the Bible says, sis? Whosoever commits sin. Transgresseth also the law. Misses. So when you sin, I want to show you something real quick. When you sin, you're breaking God's laws. Are we supposed to sin as a people? No. I got him. I got you, bro. Let me finish this point. Are we supposed to sin as a people? All right, watch this. Read it again. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. Transgress means to break. You're breaking God's laws when you sin. Read. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is when you break God's laws. What solutions you got, bro? I can't hear you. Change. Say what? Change gun laws. Change the gun. How old are you? You 18. So one of the solutions to help our people, you say to change the gun laws, right? Meaning what? Help me out. Stop selling guns. Stop selling guns. That would be one of the ways to change our community. Need help, right? What else you got? What else solutions do you have to fix our communities? I'm gonna ask you something. You got a father and a mother, right? Do you live with your, is, is both the parents in the house right now? No, so you with, you living with your mother, right? How, how long it's been since your father been out the house? A long time, right? Right, mainly what's happening in our community, there's no father in the house with the children, correct? And you're 18 years old. It's been a long time since your father been in the house with you and your mother, right? Now, I'm gonna ask you something. You got a girlfriend? You got a girlfriend? I'm gonna ask you this. Baby mamas and baby daddies is made how? Because of what? Se no, I know having kids, but how do baby mamas and baby daddies grow in our community? Because Brothers and sisters want to be what? I just asked you. They want to be what? They want to be boyfriends and what? Is that according to God? So do you think marriage will fix our communities? If a man and a woman get married and then it be a husband and a wife in the house with the children, would that help our community, sis? Would that help us? Sis, will marriage help us? Marriage. Marriage. Our children need to see. Let's see. Let's get that law real quick. Hebrews 13. You got it already? This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 4. Now, you said that we should get rid of gun laws should be more strict, right? I'm going to show you something. Read. Marriage is honorable in all. Marriage is an honorable thing. God respects marriage. You'll never read in the Bible where it says boyfriend and girlfriend. You'll never read in the Bible where it says baby mama and baby daddy. That's not in the Bible. God do not honor baby mama and baby daddy. That's why there's no man in the house with our children to teach these young men how to grow up, how to live according to the Bible, yeah. according to God. There's no structure in the house. Because why? Single parent household. These, To be honest, these women are not able to guide the men, these young men, by themselves. That's why these young children is out of control. 
Read it again. Marriage is honorable in all. God honor marriage, read. And the bed. Young brother, young brother, I want you to come here. Come here. I, want, I got something I want to read to you. Read. And the bed undefiled. The bed undefiled meaning what? Meaning what? If you're married, you can have sex, according to God. But, come here, come here, come here. Read. But whoremonger. A whoremonger is those that want to be boyfriend and girlfriend. You understand that? That's what you're doing as a young man. Me, you, I got a daughter around your age. So I can be a father figure to you, brother. You're not supposed to have a girlfriend. Do you understand? That's one way to fix our community. And another way, it, it don't matter about the, making the gun law strict. The Bible says, thou shalt not kill. Right. If we apply that law in our community, guess what? It won't be no killing in the community. Yeah. You ain't got to worry about going to your car. And guess who you, you ain't worry about a white man running up on you. Who you worry about? Your own brother running up on you trying to rob you for your car. Trying to steal your purse. You understand, bro? God says, thou shalt not kill, neither shall you be a whoremonger. Meaning have a, a girlfriend. You understand, bro? Finish it. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. So judgment is coming upon our people when you break the law of marriage. If you don't want to get married and you want to go around and you want to have a boyfriend and girlfriend, you want to commit adultery, God is going to judge you. It's coming. The Israelites is held to a high standard when it comes to keeping God's commandments. That's why we as a people are suffering. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Oh, you know.